it's like a giant alien mega cow. 300 feet tall, kind of green. Doesn't eat grass, he eats. People. Eats the people. Woo! Be gone. Okay. Sequence. So, what, a couple weeks ago, I posted a, a sort of a little teaser about what you could do with some sound design stuff. I went into a little more in depth this time. So here's sort of the quick preview first, okay? Two people that watched my video sent in something. Uh, this is from Les. They sent a money tin rolling on the floor. Okay. And so what I did is I took a little snippet from the beginning that was just sort of the tone of the rolling without the clicks and stuff. It is really, really short, right? Stretched it, spanked it, yanked it, transformed it. Ended up with what I call less the transformer, and it's a bram, sort of a bram. Cool, so we went from this to this. Mattia or Mattia, forgive me. I don't know exactly how to say your name. So we'll go with, are you like Italian? Mattia, Mattia, Mattia or, or something with me? Or is it Mattia, Mattia, Mattia? Is it Mattia? Just, no, oh, anyway. Uh, it was like a, a string uh, attached to a cup or something. And I got a few things from that. So I grab this piece. Uh, you can hear I kind of stereoized it with the serum effects. Right. I transformed it, uh, lowered it, stretched it, affected it, whatever came up with this. I called it Mattia Stranger String. Cool. So we went from this. to this. Madness. Then, got out my propane tank, because it ran out of, I wasn't able to do some grilling, I ran out of fuel. Exchange that, I thought, wait, this is some interesting, I, I, bang, I think I banged it against something and heard like, oh, you could do stuff with that. It's, it's great, it's metal, it's round. It's got edges, you can play with it. So I banged on it with a couple different things. I, I used a Super Bowl mallet, 25 cent rubber balls you can get out of a machine, but it's actual mallet I bought on Amazon. And I used this chunk and turned it into this. So again, we took this chunk and turned it into this. So yeah, now I'll go in and show you more precisely what I was doing. Now we can dive in. I can show you a little more specifically some things I did to crunch and transform and how we go from our little dainty field recordings to some big sort of trailery, brammy kind of things. Cool, all right, let's dive in right quick. I did this outside on the, on the side of my house between the front and the back gate in a little area that clearly gathers a lot of leaves. So I'm back in my headphone mode, I recorded some of the propane tank. I saw this watering can out there. Then I decided to hit on the uh, plastic tote that's been outside. So it's it's all dirty. I, so I did it outside. It was a little noisy. So that's why one reason I did it on the side. I was hoping between the fence and the house it would 
block out some of the noise. It's kind of an ambient roar of the outside. If you are looking, you do see a violin bow, but I couldn't seem to get anything going with that. So that was a bust. So we got the rubber ball mallet and we got the, uh, like a bass drum mallet I ordered from China AliExpress. I've had the thing like a year and it still smells toxic. It's been in a plastic bag. Okay then, so let's see what we got so far. Hear that background noise. So we got some bell kind of stuff. That makes me a little uncomfortable, but you know. So you can see the rubber ball mallet. That's actually just like if you'd get out of a 25 cent. It's like a play, a play by a play by play of me outside. Ladies and gentlemen, now he's taking the he's after it with the mallet. Let's see if we can get any sound out of it. So yeah. And here we got some nice gong kind of kind of stuff happening there, right? <laughs> It's a maybe. Oh, I'm going after the watering can. Ladies and gentlemen, he's whacking the watering can. Good idea. So it'll resonate more. I'm sure my neighbors were like, why? Is this sad? I want to see if I point it at the mic, the opening of the mic, we get a little more resonance. I think we're going after the tote. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going after the tote. Ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna set up the recorder on the propane tank and start beating that tote like a red-headed stepchild. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I hear a garbage truck. Okay, whoa. Then that's cool. That was a cool accident. That was a good, that, that was a good sound. I think we'll have to use that. Oh, you can't. Of course you can't see it. What I'm doing is, I had the headphones on so I could hear stuff. Just hear a little more detail. You know, when I accidentally whack stuff, when, when the recorder's right there in the protein, propane tank, have a, had a nice deep tone. Beat that tote! Hit it! Whack it! Make it write those bad checks! Not a lot of variety, but that's a good solid hit. I, I don't know if we can do anything with that or not. We'll have to see. See, this first time I'm hearing it back in the headphones, it, well, it's quiet, so. If a combo hit, ladies and gentlemen, it's a combo hit. Look at that. What's he doing now? Holy moly. This is exciting. Oh, and I still have two minutes left. What? I'm so, I'm on my, I'm on the edge of my seat. What's he gonna do now? Now what? Rubbing the springy boinky wound up part. I don't, I was just trying stuff. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, we got a few things, got a few pings and hits and gongs, right? We got some stuff to play with. That's kind of interesting. It's like it's pre-distorted for my convenience. Whoa. Well, what else? Come on, bring it home, baby. You got a minute. Bring it home. Impress me. Impress me. Oh, well, what's this? What's this? It was a hit, right? It was a hit. I'm leaning in like a, I'm leaning in like to hear it. But, oh, dinner time? Is that, a, is that a dinner bell? I don't know. Just trying some. I was just trying stuff, right? Maybe. 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 That's not bad. That is not bad. That's some stuff to play with. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go and decide. I'm gonna go edit and see what sounds the best, basically, and go back and we'll pick some stuff. And then we're gonna go in the DAW. I've learned how to do a few things in Ableton that, that is interesting in Ableton Live that uh, DP, I don't know if it can even do it, but so. It's probably what we're gonna do to, to play with stuff, all right? Cool then, let's get in there, shall we? Okay, so, and so, I managed to, my first 
little teaser sound design thing where I just showed just sort of the end result. And I'd ask for to people that had watched it. I, st- I don't want to say followers or subscribers. I don't know. Subscribers? Followers? People that watch people that watch the video and I asked them to send in some stuff. And so I actually had two that I found. I'm sorry if I missed someone. Les sent me in a money tin rolling on the floor. So there's sort of a tone there and the, or there's sort of the hits when something when it goes around, something's kind of clicking, it's probably a seam. Interesting. Tell you what we're gonna do. Very first part there, there's no clicks. It's short, there's no additional wax or hits or whatever. And then maybe we'll grab one of these little hit things. Uh, what is that? That's like a little nugget. Copy. So we'll use those two things, I think. Is it Mattia? Mattia? Mattia or Mattia? Mattia. Mattia. I am very sorry that I do not know how to pronounce it. Send me a. It's like a string on a can, something like that. Thank you for lots of interesting stuff here. Yeah, little that little bitty nugget where pitch went down. That might be interesting to play with. Little bitty fella there. Copy. I'm just sticking on that. Oh, that's my. Must be mono. Oh, yeah, that's, that's mono. Okay, keep going. I like these more subtle ones. Uh, how about that one? How about that little fella? Maybe make too much work for myself. Copy. How about them apples? Okay. That's an interesting combo. I mean, that's kind of interesting, right? It's like a combo, like a bell and a dying cow, you know? I mean, who doesn't want to hear that? Maybe that one, how about that? How you bad, yeah, how about that? One shot's to be easier to deal with right now. Take it easy. Here, why don't we go find a hit, a uh, thump. It's pretty good though. Sometimes you get cool accidental stuff. All right, now this is just your good solid hit. Good solid hit. I'm giving myself too much crap to do here. Export. No, it is not even mastered or anything. Should I have done that? No. Now, tell what? That was fun. Honestly, I've never seen that window that I just saw. Maybe that's in an update. I have never seen that in my life. All right, here, what we're gonna do, that, those two things from Mattia, 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 is stereoize it. Stereoize it a bit. The hyper dimension. Yes. Yes, the hyper dimension. Come back. Ooh, six. Mute that fella. Here we go. Is it too much? Is it too much? Is it? Bounce to desk. Matia, 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 Matt. I don't know what I'm doing with the name. Okay, go here. 
go. Cut off that little nugget there. So they'll be separate. Separate. Separated. Now we have a wee bit of stereosity. Export. There. Uh, saved. Now, aren't you... Did you just exit full screen? Saved already, right? Hide. Oh. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, fella. I can't remember the name of the app. Location. Application. Ableton Live. Where are you, little fella? Where'd you go there, little fella? Where'd you go? I... Do I still have you on here? There you are. Ableton 10 Lite, which I got because I barely know how to get around in this. So yeah, first let's take a listen, say, to this, see? What's... We'll hit there. Our uh, sacred gong. Sacred gong of the propane. That was the gong plus dying cow. I sent some potential there. The short, that was a short nugget from Les. Okay. Here. That's a hit, sort of a hit, right? Okay, so yeah. I haven't played with this in a while, so forgive me as I get reacquainted with it. You can do transposition easily. Warp. You can do interesting things. We're getting into Transformer territory, yes? Robots in disguise. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Export audio. Export. Let's call it less transformer. Transformer. Oops. Transformer one. Nice. Okay, that's a good starting point. Matia. Matia, Matia, Matia.
Whoopsies, whoopsies. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay. Robots in disguise. Yeah. And maybe one from my situation, maybe. You know I want to hear what happens with this this wounded cow. Wounded cowbell. There's her name. There's her name. Warp. Just keep in mind, I'm barely in control of what's going on with this program. I barely know what I'm doing. Okay then. The situation is a bit tragic in those terms. Don't let it stop me though. Don't let it stop me. Save by the sick cowbell. Quit. Boink. Um, yes. Less transformer. Mattia. 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 I'm, I'm probably doing terrible things to that name, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done to that lovely name. We started with less. Let's just see what's going on there, shall we? I think that needs a little stereoization. Bounce to desk. You've been transformed. Again, Wes. Yep. Yep. I'm very fond of Sound Toys Echo Boy for delays, but I use ambient echoes to add some. It's reverbish, but it's interesting because it's made out of delays. This needs decapitator. Dirty it up a bit. Also sound toys. Dirty it up, boy.
Here, what if we do that? What if we go ahead and see what that's? Transformer. Robots in the skies. Done with you, number two, two. No. What if we were to go back in? Hmm? Hmm? Warp. I don't know what envelope does. What was it? Was it this? Four. Here's the thing. I do brims a lot because I like them. You know what I mean? Do you hear me? Okay, here. Jag that in. So I do so you know, the the warping and stuff in in um Ableton, barely knowing what I'm doing again. Okay. I'm gonna try something here. Uh, let me roll off, make sure there's no crazy low end, 72 to, to nearly 50 or so. See all that extra, it's really not necessary. Whoops. I want to hear a little decapitator again on that, okay? Just to wait, just to, you know. Let's do that again. I will stack an EQ. I will. Let's do some more Echo Boy. Echo Boy. Some of that again. Smooth it out a bit. Hello. Sorry, I had a tent of something and I, uh, I didn't record the last few minutes because I forgot. To resume. Yep. Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. I forgot. So, did you see me? But I, I, I distorted it again a little more. I'm confusing myself and anyone watching right now. But my friend that showed me about this called it getting a new perspective. Uh, Corel. Getting a new perspective. When you bounce it down and you're starting with just the audio again with no effects. It's just, I don't know. It's, I, I thought I liked it. It was, it was working for me to hear that. We're starting with a new perspective. So I bounced it down a couple times. So this was about taking off the unnecessary, unnecessary low end. I maybe, maybe taking off the high end wasn't necessary. I mean, maybe we didn't want to just find a little nugget to hear some spice.
and then to take off some of the uh, a little edge, I added some black hole. So it's, it's kind of to smooth it out a little bit. Yes, that's not too long. Then I did another EQ after that to see what was going on. You know, start to, the reverb and stuff can start to add back in some low end that maybe we don't want in there, you know, so I'll just bounce the disc. I'm making some drink. I'm caffeinating. So. And so, I didn't prepolize these, did I? Moving on, here we go. Mattia. Mattia, 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 Mattia. Mattia. Not that one. Transf Transformer. My, uh, yeah, got a situation there. Nice, nice. Okay, that's nice already. Of course, you know, we're going to decapitate the crap out of that, right? There's a lot. No. Let me see what is going on in the spectrum. As usual, cut off the bottom. Yeah, that that lets you solo what's below that. Hear that? You hear that? It's so low and rumbly, so we don't need all that excess down below here for sure about 50 or so so let's do the same little trick shall we echo boy let's add some width a little width and body where the ambient echoes i'm curious what happens if we decapitate Okay, I just wanted to know. Don't get all judgy with me. This voice of God is the thing that I've been using for adding back in frequencies that either are lost to add the right kind of low frequency, not unnecessary, but something you can feel and hear a little bit. I'm going to try a little thing here, okay? I'm gonna try a thing. Let's try this. Combo. First, let's go in here. I like to always see the spectrum, what's going on. Oops, sorry. I'm missing a T there. Let 
Let's just see if we can find some beef in this. I don't know if I really heard it before. Let's just try some optional distortion kind of things. So let's see what have I done to the low end of this part. Okay, so. That's pretty crazy. I kind of like it. Okay, bounce the disc. It's either Mattia, Mattia, maybe? No? Yes? No? Yes? Sick cowbell. I think we're just gonna not even use the first part. Let's check out the spectrum, shall we? See, there's a lot of crazy low end info that is not, we're just not really hearing. Here, check this out. Let me just try to figure out where some of that is coming from. Tell you what, we're just gonna ski daddle that last nugget. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, why not? I mean, right? I mean, right? I wanted the cow ending. Let's try some um, a little warmth for the distortion. Hey, you know what? Clearly, I get a lot of use out of these dudes. All right. Um... Now, I haven't played with this in a while. It's good for just destroying stuff, really.
the three bands you can play with. Now, I'm curious, why don't you do a little multiband squeezing on that just to see what's going on? If you hold Alt, it will lower the output while you up the input. Todd, sick, cowbell, two. Let's just see if we can make that buzziness be a little more buzzy even. Let's try, let's play with this camel crusher again. Distortion. Just to see what happens. Just to, you know, just, just to see what happens. Just to see. I'm curious, will this record this? That's kind of interesting to me. That's a little bit interesting to me. Let's try this again. I mean, stack it up, stack it up, stack it up.
Here, we need to bounce that down. Um, yeah, so we went from this. Yeah, that's it, cow. To this giant sit cow. What do you say we master these? So I have a bit of a mastering chain situation. Let's add our master. Fader. Project add. Aux track. I do the pre-master. I do an aux pre-master. It makes it easy to A, B, and that kind of thing. Because you can run, you can run uh, the original, you can run a reference through the master, and it's not going through all the aux stuff. New stereo, let's run it through 19... 20 pre-master now i have a lot of crap on there and maybe some extra crap that i don't need i got a couple of new uad things so first of all i do a little uh multi-band just to kind of catch any funky weirdness let me just kind of see what happens here this bx really what i'm doing with this is making sure the mono below the default is at 7980. Just making sure that the uh, the low end is mono, so it's cleaner. That's a thing. Okay. It's really all I end up using it for, and then we're we're catching the uh, low end stuff with this the distressor just like a compressor you should play with that a little bit So this, the Ampex ATR-102, it's adding a simulation of tape saturation. And uh, I heard someone describe it like, it's just kind of magic, it adds a little magic. So there's something, there's something agreeable about the, the way magnetic tape affected audio that was agreeable to our ears. So I'm just gonna run it up there, see what she sounds like. So looking at my levels and my master, I'm curious, how does this compare to Let's bounce down less, less the transformer. Less, you're a transformer. Look at all those balls. Uh, Mattia, what's going on with you? With one T, where's the other T? Sorry, that was a, a meaty man fingers. He needs some more, um, he needs more.
stuff going on there, huh? Where shall we up it? Where shall we up it? All right, that's not bad. Stranger strings. Stranger string? What do you think? Oh Lord, I got some editing to do. You have been purpled and you have been greened, okay? That's the transformer. Mathieu. No, just in case, that's weird. Moving on to Todd the Sick Cowbell. Quietest of the group, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Let's start with less. You loud, Les. You loud, bro. Okay. Sit, cowbell. Okay. I think that works. Bounce to disc. Todd. Mega cow. It's like a giant. Alien mega cow, 300 feet tall, kind of green, doesn't eat grass, he eats people, eats the people. Woo! Cool, so we went from this to this. So we went from this to this. Madness. We took this chunk and turned it into this. 